Ever felt like life is just an unending cycle of problems? This is a story about a young woman who felt just that. She was weary and frustrated, feeling as though she was constantly battling and struggling with every problem she solved, only leading to another. One day, she shared her feelings with her father. His response was not a comforting hug or soothing words, rather a surprising invitation to the kitchen. There, he filled three pots with water, setting them on the stove to boil. In each pot, he placed a different item, a potato in the first, an egg in the second, and ground coffee beans in the third. The daughter stood by watching her father's actions with a furrowed brow, unsure of what he was trying to demonstrate. As the pot started to boil, she waited, curiosity peaked, yet still not understanding what her father was trying to show her. The heat is on and the experiment begins. Our humble ingredients, the potato, egg, and coffee beans are all plunged into the boiling water. Each pot bubbles away, the heat creating a dance of steam and motion. First, let's consider the potato. Strong and solid, it enters the pot with a firm resolve. But as the water boils, the heat of adversity takes its toll. The once robust potato softens, its resilience fading as it succumbs to the heat. It's a stark reminder of how even the strongest among us can be worn down by the challenges of life. Next, we turn our attention to the egg. It starts as a fragile entity, protected only by a thin shell. Within it, a liquid core, vulnerable and unformed. But as it meets the boiling water, a transformation occurs. The soft liquid center hardens, becoming solid. It's a testament to those who, when faced with adversity, only grow stronger, their inner resolve solidifying. Lastly, the coffee beans. These tiny fragments of potential, when thrown into the boiling water, do something extraordinary. Instead of changing themselves, they change the water. The beans infuse the water, altering its color and scent, creating something new and wonderful. It's a metaphor for those who, when met with hardship, transform their environment, creating something better out of the chaos. After 20 minutes, the father turns off the heat. He removes the softened potatoes, the hardened eggs, and the transformed coffee from their respective pots. He presents them to his daughter, asking, what do you see? Potatoes, eggs, and coffee, she replies, stating the obvious, yet unaware of the profound lessons each pot holds. The father then pours a cup of the aromatic coffee and hands it to his daughter. As she takes a sip, the rich flavor and warm aroma bring a smile to her face. She's left wondering, with the taste of the coffee still lingering on her tongue, what does this all mean? The time has come for the father to reveal the truth behind his boiling experiment. With a gentle smile, the father begins to explain, You see, my dear, each of these items, the potato, the egg, and the coffee beans, face the same adversity, the boiling water, Yet, each responded differently. He holds up the softened potato. This potato started out strong, hard, and unyielding. But after being subjected to the boiling water, it softened and became weak. Like this potato, some people start out strong but become weary and lose their strength when they're faced with troubles and difficulties. Next, the father points to the hard-boiled egg. This egg was fragile with a thin outer shell protecting a liquid interior. But after sitting in the boiling water, its insides became hardened. Just like this egg, some people might appear weak on the outside. But when they encounter hardships, they harden their hearts and minds. Finally, he gestures towards the cup of coffee. The coffee beans, however, were unique. They started as small, hard beans, but when they met the boiling water, they changed the water and created something new, something aromatic and enjoyable. Like these coffee beans, some people transform when they face adversity. They take those hard times and use them to improve their lives, to create something better. He looks at his daughter with a thoughtful expression. Each of us faces hardships in life, but what matters most is how we react when we encounter these challenges. Are we like the potato that softens and becomes weak? Are we like the egg that hardens? Or are we like the coffee bean transforming the situation and creating something new and beautiful? Pausing for a moment to let the lesson sink in, he finally asks, So, my dear, how do you react when adversity knocks on your door? Are you a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean?